Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Grace. I am an interior designer, a tiny space enthusiast, and uh, I also build container homes. But today, we are checking out something different. Not so different from containers, but it's a totally different product. This is a modular house that is basically a prefab. It is manufactured out of the country and imported as a complete unit. So all you do once it gets to the country is assemble. It's not, it's not manufactured here, but it's assembled here. Uh, this is a solution for someone who'd want something quick. It takes a day to assemble it. It comes compact, comes with everything fitted inside. Toilet, uh, kitchen, living area. Uh, in as much I've seen it online a few times, this is the first time I'm actually seeing a physical one. And it's encouraging to know that at least we are having more options other than just the brick and mortar structure. We are having more options when it comes to alternative building methods. And uh, as a market, we are embracing different designs, different options. It's a breath of fresh air, if you ask me. So let me show you around. This type of expandable home has a version of both 20 and 40. Today I'm taking you through a 20 foot version of it. Uh, it expands to almost three times uh, 20 foot. So instead of 120, you are getting approximately 320s. That's about 480 square feet. Based on what I was told by the importer, this unit came fitted in another 20 foot container. So it came as a compact package as above and it was assembled or expanded once it got to site. If that's the case, then it means that it's slightly uh, thinner than a usual container. A normal container and exter the exterior dimension would be about 8 feet. I'm assuming this exterior dimension would be about 7.5 feet. But when it expands, it expands to almost 21 to 22 feet. That is almost the width of three 20 foot containers. The layout for this model is pretty straightforward. You have the lounge area, uh, an open plan kitchen, shared toilet and bathroom, a bed space that you can create a partition in between to give you two bedroom spaces. Let's walk in and see how the interior looks like if it's any if it's as beautiful as the outside. This model comes with aluminium sliding windows and doors uh, with standard size unless you request for something bigger. This model also came with uh, glass partitions but I believe you can customize this. The glass partitions give it uh, an official feel as opposed to a homely feel. So if you intend to use this unit as a house or a home then you might want to do uh, a full partition either from EPS or gypsum or whatever works for you. It also comes with LED lighting fixtures on the bulbs and uh, sockets. The floor is PVC that uh, I felt was a little bit too lightweight and you might want to replace it after a while. But this is what it comes with. I believe you can request for something different should you want something long lasting. I do not know the available options as, as of now. But for this particular unit, I saw that it came with normal floor PVC flooring. The washroom has a frosted glass door. I love how tiny but practical. Uh, how practical this washroom is it has a shower cubicle the pvc flooring goes all the way to the washroom area but the shower has been enclosed with a shower cubicle and the typical shower tray
the shower cubicle is a 900 by 900 uh, curved shower cubicle it comes complete with its own uh, floor tray and uh, uh, shower fittings The cubicle is standard and uh, you can comfortably fit in if you don't require so much space to take your shower. However, if this was my shower and I happen to add a little bit more weight, I don't think I'll be able to wash myself properly in this shower cubicle. So maybe this would be a reminder to keep fit and lose, keep your weight in check. <laughs> Uh, the wash and basin comes complete with a medicine cabinet that you can place your extras as well as two available sockets for your hairdryer and whatever you might need to use the sockets for. The sink comes with a complete under sink cabinet that you can place all your cleaning equipment or whatever you might need storage for within the wet area. The whole bathroom area is pretty practical. Now we get to the kitchen. Uh, in this kitchen, I didn't see high-level cabinetry. I only saw low-level cabinet, but it has enough storage for the size of house we are in. It has a few drawers, a few open uh, cabinets that you can place anything extra that you might want. A fully fitted sink. The tops are marble. That are the, For the kitchen, the kitchen is installed here once it lands but for the bathroom you get that installed uh before it gets to 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 site for the kitchen that has to be installed installed once the house has been expanded that's because it is fitted in one of the wings that uh, is only assembled on site so should you move this house then you'll have to reinstall your kitchen once you get to site the next room is the bedroom that in this case is being used as an office but i believe if you intend to use this as a house then this room you would use it as a bedroom area it comes as a whole space but you can create a, pit a partition in between to create two rooms of two equal dimensions so you have a two bedroom instead of a one bedroom house the house comes complete with plumbing already done and fitted all you need to do is connect it to your waste management system should it be a septic or biodigester or sewer line that comes already fitted your windows come complete with a mosquito net so you don't have to worry about adding another layer of protection if you want to protect your house against bugs Here comes the most interesting bit about this house. Uh, compared to your traditional container house where you'd get away with pillars or columns as foundation, with this option you have to do a full slab that covers the whole area of your foldable house. This is because of how the structure is and what the extensions use to support itself so you cannot just do pillars at strategic points you have to do a whole slab so that this container might sit on it this is to ensure that it is as steady and as straight as possible So what I like about this house is it comes compact, I would say. Uh, you see this kitchen, I think it's the only thing that needed to be assembled once you unfold the whole house. The toilet and bathroom comes completely fitted. Uh, I like the fact that uh, it's simple, straight to the point. And uh, it's ideal, ideal for someone who'd want accommodation almost immediately. It takes one day to assemble. It takes a dis uh, 
period of two months to have it here, basically 60 days. 30 days for production, 30 days for shipping, and you have your, your house. Uh, I like the fact they've used LED fittings. That means you can use solar to power this house. Uh, you can also, the plumbing is pretty straightforward. There is an outlet for your waste and there is an inlet for your clean water. They come with aluminum windows. And the one other addition I really like about this option is the fact that they come with a mosquito net on all windows. So you don't need to worry about bugs or anything coming in once you open your windows. The cabinetry is really nice. You can see the finish. I basically love this house. It's a good alternative if you're looking for something quick. Uh, the only downside I think this option gives is the fact that you need to be very sure of what you want before you have your container here. It hardly gives you room to change your mind once it's here. One, because yes, you can start doing a bit of edits, but you will weaken the structure. You'll also weaken the fact that it's watertight. So it's advisable that you are sure of what you'd want in terms of finishes, in, st in terms of size, in, st in terms of floor plan. Though for, pl for floor plan, I think you can do an edit once it gets here. Basically, you can have your kitchen on the other side and have your office or your bedrooms on this other side. You can play around with the layout. But from what I've seen, I think the toilet and bathroom is pretty fixed. You can't change that unless you want to weaken the structure of the house, which I don't think it's, it's ideal. Naturally, I would compare this option to shipping container conversion. One, because I feel like they, they give the same solution. In as much as they're not identical products, I kind of feel like they tend to solve the same problem. However, I feel like this ha targets a different market from what a shipping container fabrication option would target. This is more for someone who's looking for something quick, is in a secure solution and is not really worried about uh, longevity of the option. Now they both, op both options have good and bad. For example, this will only require one truck to move from site. Uh, an equivalent of this for a shipping container would require three trucks at least to move three containers to site. Uh, for a shipping container, you can easily do a deck on top of your containers without really worrying about so much reinforcement. For this option, you'd have to suspend your whole deck totally, not having it uh, right on top of your container because I don't think and also don't feel like it's structurally sound to withstand a lot of weight uh, on it. This is quick in terms Whilst traditional shipping container fabrication saves you money on foundation, then this option saves you money on transportation. So you get a win, it's a win-lose kind of situation, or should I say a win-win kind of situation. Whatever you might get with this option, you just might not get with the other option. So it's good to compare the two and also just analyze what your need is. I also felt like this option was a little bit pricey, but then again, I have not done a detailed analysis of the cost, so I wouldn't really say with so much confidence that this option is more expensive than the other option, but from what I've picked so far, it feels like it could be slightly more costly than traditional shipping container conversion. Either way, I think I still think this is a good option. It still serves a certain percentage of the market. It's still a good addition to the market for alternative uh, construction methods and thumbs up to the importer for bringing it to Kenya and just testing the waters with it. If you have not liked, uh, shared, or if you've not subscribed to this channel, this is the best time to subscribe to this channel. I look forward to your subscription and your support. It makes it so, it makes it easier to do these videos and just to go out there and 
get this content also with the numbers i get confidence from people who are also into this to allow me share the product and share the business should you want to entertain and check out this option i will leave contacts for the person who imported this just so you can go and check out their options so you can go ahead and just check out what they've done thank you so much for seeing this video to the end for watching this video to the end i thank you so much for your support until next time bye